Speaker, it was my absolute privilege to co-host the inaugural Memories of Menzies in Cornwall event with my parliamentary colleagues, the members for Benelong and the member for MacArthur in Parliament House on Monday night. The event was a conversation between Heather Henderson, Nia Menzies, and Dr Mary Elizabeth Cornwall, who shared personal stories of life as the daughters of Sir Robert Menzies, Australia's longest serving Prime Minister, and the Honourable Arthur Cornwall, the Leader of the Opposition, and Australia's first Minister for Immigration. A very special thank you to Ms Henderson and Dr Corwell for sharing their stories and allowing us to take a trip down memory lane to learn about life and what it was really like in Australian politics in the 50s and the 60s. Now, the night was moderated by the doyen of political reporting in Australia, the very prolific Michelle Grattan of The Conversation, who facilitated and allowed for a very frank and colourful discussion. And I note that the member for Menzies was also present and agrees that it was a very stimulating and interesting event. Um, Menzies and Corwell were fierce rivals, Deputy Speaker, but they also understood the importance of talking to each other. Today we would call that dialogue, uh, in a national interest sense without the politics. And uh, they were known to meet up regularly to do just this. Uh, thank you also to the Museum of Australian Democracy uh, at Old Parliament House for sponsoring the event. Now, last Friday night, uh, I was delighted to attend the annual presentation night of the Upfield Soccer Club. Uh, I took to the floor, as I do on each year, with club president Wally Hanna and club manager Hani Pito and special guest Hakim Alarabi to hand out trophies to our players. Uh, our players range from juniors to seniors, boys and girls, and it was one of the biggest events yet and a sure sign of the club's growing popularity in my local community. Now, the story of the Upfield Soccer Club is a true migrant story, Deputy Speaker. Three decades ago, the Greek community of Broadmeadows formed the club, originally called Andromedas, nice Greek name, founded by uh, Bro Broadmeadows locals, the Jim Massis, uh, Dimitris Fokianos, Petros Pantazopoulos, John Patsikathodoru, George Xenarios, and many others. Along the way, a young Wally Hanna from the emerging Iraqi community came to play, and the rest is history. Uh, Wally today uh, runs what is now called the Upfield Soccer Club and is doing a terrific job in uh, serving the needs of our newly arrived. In, in recent years, the club has welcomed our refugees from Syria and uh, they have engaged them as players, coaches and volunteers. And the Upfield Soccer Club is very proud of the fact that they have recruited 45 female players this season in their ongoing campaign to create gender equality at the club and to uh, foster inclusiveness. Thank you. Thank the member and give the call to